Hello and welcome back to Let's Talk by George. In today's video, we are going to review the latest update of Cypher OS for Redmi Note 5 Plus wins. Yes, it is an unofficial version of the ROM and the ROM has been compiled by our friend Aditya. So what is more special about the ROM? Well, um, first of all, the ROM version is Gravity or V3.0. The, uh, the main thing is the ROM is on Android 12L. Let me show you something. Okay, let me finish rotating this bloody clock. Oops. All right. Yeah, here we are. You can see that it is on the latest Android version, which is 12L. Now, as you can see, it is on the latest Android security update, 5th of March 2022. The kernel it is using is 4.9.307. AC Linux is enforcing. So, um, the ROM is G apps. The ROM is G apps version, and as you can see, it is not bloated with a lot of Google applications. Just having camera, camera go as the default camera application and once you move on to the quick settings, quick settings you can see that they are keeping the um, stock user interface for the uh, quick settings. Now to talk about the ROM, my initial impressions are the ROM is quite smooth. Actually the ROM is very smooth. Um, I have not noticed any major bugs as of now. The quick settings scrolling up and down is smooth. Uh, it doesn't lag or jitter anyway. So let's go to the settings page. Now as you can see, even though they have maintained the default or stock um, layout for the kit settings, they have changed the entire layout for the settings page. You can see there is a fresh um, design or fresh looks for the uh, settings user interface. Now let's begin with the customization um, things. What all customization does the ROM offer? First of all, if you want to have custom battery icons, you have to select the battery from the uh, settings menu. Go to the battery icon and you can see, you can change the uh, icon styles, the status bar battery indicator icon styles into these sort of icons. And if you want to enable and disable battery percentage, there is an option to do that too. For more customizations, what you need to do is you need to scroll down. As you can see, there is a uh, there is a section here in the settings um, page itself for customizations. First of all, you will have the network traffic indicator customization, and you can select a custom network um, network activity type, and you can adjust the font size for the network traffic indicator too. Now, secondly, you can choose custom wallpapers. So basically, if you want to or choose wallpapers and um, um, do the themed icon thing there is an option for that one too then notifications well notification it's the basic stuff nothing um, nothing nothing um, nothing more about it so basically um, this is an update where they have given Android 12 as the default Android version other than that, the ROM is quite smooth. So the ROM is just offering you the minimal customization. Now for the lock security or screen lock, you can either choose the password or pin stuff like that, the normal stuff, and you will get the face unlock and fingerprint too with the ROM. So um, that is about the customization aspect or the security aspects of the ROM and as you can see once you go to the gestures you can see swipe to screenshot is there and once you go to the gesture navigation you can customize you cannot customize you cannot hide the bottom pill you may have to use the magisk module to um for the for the bottom pill or this uh, line underneath the screen if you want to remove it you need to use a magisk Overall, the ROM is really great. The ROM is smooth and the ROM is fluid. I had been using the same ROM for uh, now for almost one day and until now I haven't uh, got any issues with the ROM. The ROM works perfect and the ROM works fine. The ROM offers, offers you minimal amount of customization. Even though the ROM is offering you minimal amount of customization, still the ROM is stable. That is the highlight about the ROM. And you will get some meaningful customizations too. Uh, what are my verdicts about the ROM? If you want to use the ROM as a daily driver, definitely you can use the ROM as a daily driver um, regarding the safety net or CTS thing. Well, um, the ROM may pass the safety net by default. If you are using Magisk, make sure that you hide the Magisk and it will pass without any difficulties. 
so um, the, if you want to use the ROM as a daily driver definitely you can use the ROM as a daily driver um, what about the gaming experience I'm not sure about the gaming experience I don't play games on mobile so um, honestly speaking I cannot judge anything about the gaming experiences if you want a smooth ROM with minimal amount of customization definitely you can prefer to have this ROM that's my final verdict about the ROM